transform customer behavior to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Harnell from here. And today we're going to talk about the imperative, the importance that you got to do it thing in order to supersize and grow your business. And that is embracing change. We have to embrace change. And I'm going to share four strategies to do that as we're thinking about customer behavior. Why? Because we actually do not have any control over what our customers will and will not do. It's 100% up to them. Each of us have personal responsibility. But our responsibility is to change and adapt, understand, pay attention to, and serve the customers that we choose to serve to the best of our ability. And we do that by, number one, listening to them, understanding what dynamics go into our customers' behavior so that we can address it and help transform them into being our customers, right? So we need to understand the emotions, the desires, the pain points, the uh, impulses of our true, true ideal audience, the people that we're really here to serve. Because we're all here to serve and help a certain group of people on the planet. Not everybody, but some people. And we need to know who those people are, what makes them tick, what will influence them so that we can have the ability to help transform them into our customers. I love the idea of people transforming into our customers instead of thinking of them as as leads or numbers. I hate when people say business is just a numbers game, just a personal pet peeve. It is, of course, we need to know our numbers and pay attention to them. But if we're treating our customers like they're numbers, guess what? They feel like numbers and they don't really want to do business with us necessarily. I don't know about you, but how do you feel about doing business with your phone company, your electric company, your trash removal company. Not really much of a relationship there, right? Although I did meet my trash man because we had a customer service problem for recycling about a month or two ago. But the first thing we need to do is understand who are the people that we really want to serve. What makes them tip? Are they more interested in things that are novel and new? Or do they feel more comfortable with things that they can know what to expect and, and they feel comfortable in a longer term situation or relationship. It depends because we'll treat those two people entirely differently. I have a sister who's a super early adopter of technology. Me, not so much. I pretty much stay with the same technology I've liked for a long time. I'm very slow to change my technology and probably because I tend to have a lot of technical challenges, so I don't want to do a lot of new and innovative things. But she's always right in the leading edge of whatever's coming out that's late, great and technically and makes life easier. And that's that's incredible for her because she's got the ability to react and respond and do things a lot better and more efficiently than I can. Uh, we need to listen to the voice of our customer. I don't know how many times I say that. I think I talk about it several times a week, if not almost every day. At least every day in a conversation with someone, I talk about how important it is that we not only listen, but we actually hear what our customers are telling us because they will tell us absolutely everything we need to know in order to grow and build and supersize our business by serving them in the ways they want to be served if we just take a deep breath and listen to them. We want to build agile strategies, agile systems, agile meaning super duper flexible uh, and easy to change processes and procedures and automations into our businesses because guess what? The only thing we can count on always being the same is that there's always going to be change in our business and in our lives, right? And if we are resisting and pushing against change, we're going to be slow to adapt. And if we're slow to adapt, and if we don't adapt, that's the kind of thing that can actually kill and destroy our business. So curious, number one, how flexible do you think you are as a business? How agile do you think you are as a business? How innovative do you think you are as a business? How well do you listen to your customers? How well do you know your customers? Have you selected and really honed in on who the people you're here to serve are? Because that's one of the fastest, easiest ways to grow and build and supersize your business. That's all I've got today. Any questions, hit me up. Share your experiences in the comments below. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye. Get agile. Get flexible. Be kind. Bye.